Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen, getting ready to cook some quick old school Rice Krispie treats. Oh yes. All right, so let me show y'all what I got. Quick and easy ingredients. I'm sure you guys have seen these a million times. Just coming to show y'all my little quick easy recipe. I haven't cooked these on my channel in a while. Um, I've got the Public Small and Fluffy Marshmallow. This is the 10.5 ounce bag. I have two of these. All right, and as y'all can see, it says a fat free food. Anyway, we finna fatten it up. <laughs> All right, and I got some, of course, Rice Krispie Treats. This is the 18 ounce box. So, and of course, all the Rice Krispie Treats have the Rice Krispie uh, Treat, uh, you know, they always have the recipe on the side of all the Rice Krispie Box. So, you can always check the side of the box for your, your um, recipe. Me, I do it old school. So, anyway, let's get into these Rice Krispie Treats. Okay, guys, we are back. I've got three tablespoons of butter melting in my pot. And because I have two bags of marshmallows, I'm going to be able to make two pans. I'm going to make two. Each bag is going to be for a pan. So I'll be making two pans of Rice Krispie Treats. Now, one thing about me and my Rice Krispie Treats, the way I do it, I like more, uh, more cereal than marshmallow, if you understand what I'm saying. I like more of a crunchy Rice Krispie instead of a, like a soggy, marshmallowy. Marshmallowy, is that a word? Whatever, whatever. But yeah, I like more crunch than marshmallow. So, what I normally do, you guys will see, I just melt my butter, uh, pour my marshmallows. Got my butter in here. Now when my butter start, you know, doing that whole sizzling thing, that's when I throw in. Let me make sure you all can see. Make sure you all can see. Okay, yeah. Now, when my butter start, you know, getting all bubbly and fizzy, like it's doing right now. I pour in my marshmallow. I'm pouring in this whole bag of marshmallows. Okay. All my marshmallows. Okay. All right, so. And you know what? I cook it at a low heat. For Rice Krispie Treats, you do not need high heat. You don't want to do too much. So, y'all are my marshmallows. Let's see. Y'all hold on a second. Let me get my lens flipped up. Okay. All right, yep. Melting my marshmallows. Y'all can see. And as soon as all my marshmallows get about melted, that's when I start pouring in my cereal. That's the little, little trick I learned over the years of cooking so many Rice Krispie Treats. Just, just about when all your marshmallows are fully melted, throw in your cereal. Cause I mean, your marshmallows gonna still melt. It don't matter, but. Get these melted down. And you know what? It's so quick and easy. Oh, God. That's my phone. Hold on, you all. Okay. Anyway. All right. My phone would start ringing. Yeah, like I said, this is something quick and easy. Get my marshmallows all melted. Just about when all the marshmallow chunks are all melted down. Just about when it's about to be nice and smooth, smooth. That's when I pour in my cereal. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Y'all see. See how it's pretty much all melted down? I've got a couple of little marshmallow chunks in there. Okay, I'm going to pour in my cereal. And I pour in my cereal a little bit at a time. I'll do like a cup at a time. Cup at a time. Cut my heat down. Cut my heat down to a lower heat. Slowly get the cereal mixed in. Okay. And I like using a wooden spoon. Pour in another cup. Just do one cup at a time. Cause see, it depends on how many marshmallows you got, you know? So I just pour my cereal in one cup at a time. Okay. See how it's looking in there? Okay. Looking good. I need to get some more cereal in there. Let me pour another cup. Okay. So we're now at about three cups. Okay. 
All right, make sure our heat is where we need it because we need those marshmallows to stay nice and melted and loose so we can mix these cereal in. I've got my pan over there so when we get this all melted and mixed, I can go ahead and get it poured into my pan. Like I said, this is something quick and easy you can fix for the family. Quick and easy. All right, let's see if I can get one more cup of cereal in here. Let me see. Let's see how it's looking. See, you can see the marshmallow. You can still see a little, little melt. But like I said, let me taste it. Yeah, I like more crunch than marshmallow. All right, so, so far we've got three cups of cereal in there. See how it's looking. Okay. All right, that's looking good. I was going to see if I can get one more cup of cereal in there, but I don't know about that. Nah. Nah, that's about it. Yeah. Okay, so we got three cups of cereal out of one bag of marshmallow. So, I'm going to go ahead and let me turn y'all around. I'm going to go ahead and get this. Y'all see I got my pans ready over here. Sit y'all over here to the side. And I'm going to get it dumped into my pan. Cut my stove off for now. Get this dumped in there real good. Quick and easy. We did that in like five minutes. Not even five minutes. Make sure you scrape your pan. Get all your stuff you paid for. Get all your stuff you paid for. This pan's hot. Come on out now. Don't try to burn me. Quick and easy. Then I just take my wooden spoon and just spread it in my pan evenly. Alright. Just like that. Easy. Easy peasy. That was too easy, y'all. That was too easy. Okay, let me get another spoon. So I can scrape all my stuff. See that? Quick and easy. Nice, crunchy Rice Krispie treats. Because that's how I like my treats. Nice and crunchy. You got it all spread nice and even, and then you just let them sit and cool off. Too easy. I ain't made Rice Krispies in a while. I usually buy them from the store, but sometimes I like to make them homemade too now. The ones from the store are a little too sweet for me, but I like making my homemade ones now. Okay. See that? Quick and easy. Quick and easy, you are. All right, let me take y'all in. Quick and easy. Don't get no easier than that. Quick and easy. And I'll do the same thing for the second batch. Same, easy. Let me take y'all in so y'all can get a good look at that. Oh, yeah. Now, I seen on the box where they had, like, some sprinkles. Let me show y'all. They had, like, the, it looked like cake icing. And then they put sprinkles on them. Now, that's a no for me because that's too sweet. That's just too sweet. That's borderline, nah, nah, too sweet for me. So, that's it, y'all. Quick and easy. I could melt some chocolate, drizzle some chocolate over it, melt some peanut butter, and just drizzle some peanut butter. You could do all kinds of stuff with Rice Krispie Treats, I mean. But we're going to keep it old school today. Old school today. Old school Rice Krispie Treats. Bring y'all out. Let me take y'all back in real good. My lighting is acting up, but you all get it. You all get it. Okay, y'all. That's it, that's all. Let me get y'all that word of the day. That word of the day is always try to improve yourself. Ask yourself, what is it that I could be doing to better myself? We should be striving every day to better ourselves. Y'all already know I'm going to tell y'all to read y'all Bible and consult with the Lord. He is the best counselor. He is a wonderful counselor. So I'm going to suggest y'all consult with the Lord on that and ask him 
how can I be better in myself? What can I do to be better? I ask myself that a lot. But yeah, y'all, that's the word of the day. All right. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, guys, to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys.